Hello everybody and welcome back to Return to the Dumbwich Legacy. Before we begin, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. It really helps out the channel. With that out of the way, today we're going to be playing Return to the House Always Wins. Before we set up, let's start with some investigator setup by drawing our opening hands. Daniela will draw her five cards. Her wrench, toe to toe, vicious blow, prepared for the worst, and chainsaw. Wow, damn. Okay, well, there's not a lot of fighting at the beginning, but we will take them, and we'll get rid of the rest. Looking for a resource economy. Machete? Jesus. Toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Another machete. Okay, well, we are strapping for a fight. Wow. Jacqueline will get her opening hand of five cards. Arcanitia, Crystal Pendulum, Divination, Flashlight, and Shriveling. Okay. So there's going to be two clues up there. I don't think we need the flashlight yet. We'll keep the divination. We'll keep the crystal pendulum. We'll keep the arcane initiate. I guess we'll keep the shriveling too. Mm. We are a little resource dry. Uh, okay, we're going to risk it. One card. Emergency cash. Okay, that's good. That's good. That is good. All right. So let's begin with setup, starting with the return to setup. Perform the setup as indicated in the Dumbwich Legacy Campaign Guide with the following exceptions. When gathering encounter sets, also gather the new encounter sets for Return to the House Always Wins like that. Uh, so let's go do that right now. Okay, so we have House Always Wins, Return to House Always Wins. That includes this card. Bad Luck, Naomi's Crew, Rats, Hideous Abominations, and instead of Striking Fear, we have Erratic Fear. Set the Clover Club stage aside out of play. Choose one of the two Clover Club Lounge locations at random. Put the chosen location into play along with the rest of the starting locations. Remove the other version of the Clover Club Lounge from the game. Again, as I said before, we will be choosing the Return To version instead of the normal version, just for variety's sake. All right, let's do some setup. And we are now ready to begin. So our agenda means that criminal enemies have aloof. And if we ever damage a criminal enemy, we would immediately advance. We have four Dune Threshold. Beginner's luck, we need eight clues, and we have the option to cheat when we reveal a chaos token from the chaos bag. Um, spoilers, we're going to be doing that immediately. <laughs> How many times can I do that? Group limit once per round. Okay. Labella Luna, two shroud, two clues, and it has the option to resign. All right, and the Clover Clip Bit Boss is here. Highest book is Jacqueline. Cool. Alrighty, so Daniela's gonna start by playing a chainsaw. Uh, and then she is going to gain two. No, she's gonna draw some cards. Guard dog? Okay, she'll gain a resource then. Be able to play that next turn. Alright, it's Jacqueline. Jacqueline is gonna play a divination and a crystal pendulum. And then we're going to aim to use her ability to get both clues. So we're going to investigate with Divination. She is 5, 6, 7. 7 to 2. She's going to use the Crystal Pendulum to say 3. Because she's looking for a minus 2 here. And she's going to use her ability, of course. One, two, three. So we said minus two, right? So yeah, we will use, we'll choose the minus two. We succeeded by three, which is the number that I named. So she will draw a card. Sorry. Oh, oh I don't know the resources. Ah, that's fine. Uh, so that, now we exhaust, spend two charges, get two clues. All right, Clover Club Pit Boss will hunt. It has a loof though. Let's go to upkeep. Daniela will draw a stand together. That's great. Jacqueline will draw a clairvoyance. That is also very, very good. For later, of course. All right, we are one of four. Daniela will draw caught cheating. Each player who has cheated must lose two resources and take a damage. And as Surge, no one has cheated yet. Swarm of Rats. That is her card. And Jacqueline will get a Curse Luck. Okay. So let's have Daniela go first to hopefully stand together together. 
<laughs> uh, she is five to one, just as a punch. Ooh, auto fail. All right, we're gonna start. Yeah, we're gonna start. Actually, are we gonna start yet? We're not gonna start yet. We're not gonna start cheating yet. Ooh, that's a tricky. No, we are. We're gonna start. Okay, when you would when you reveal a chaos token, you may treat that token as if it were any other token in the chaos bag. We are gonna say it is a cultist, which is a minus three, and if she succeeds, she gains two resources. Is it two? Three resources. Good. So she will treat it as a cultist. We have cheated. She succeeds. So she gains three resources. She's going to use those three resources to play a guard dog. And then she'll play a stand together to gain two more for herself and for Jacqueline. Oh, it's so liberating. I've actually never cheated before, by the way. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, Jacqueline, you're going to move to the Clover Cove Lounge. And this is the return to version, of course. After it was revealed, put the set aside Clover Club stage into play. We're going to put it here. And it connects like this and like this. Uh, while it is Act 1, Clover Club Lounge Gaze, look at the gains. Look at the top card of your deck. If it is an ally, you may put it into play. Otherwise, draw it. Limit once per round. Uh, I think we're going to go to the stage because I believe that there are clues there. So Jacqueline's second action is going to move there. The mesmerizing melody of a torch singer and her band grows louder as you approach the stage near the club's lounge. Mobsters and business types chatter quietly over the music, wheeling and dealing the night away. Uh, Clover Club bar is going to Clover Club stage, yep. As an action, spend a resource. Place that many resources on Clover Club stage. Ah, I see, okay. Uh, as a free triggered ability, if there are one per player resources on Clover Club stage, gain one per player. Clues from the token pool group, group limit once per game. All right. Well, her last action then is going to be to do that. Actually, her last action is going to be to... No, no, it's, 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 this is the same. Uh, she'll spend one resource to put a resource there. All right, hunters... Uh, he is already at a, at a closest investigator, so he does not move. Upkeep. Daniela will draw prepared for the worst. Getting a resource. Jacqueline will draw a delve too deep, and we'll get a resource. We're going to use one of those in a sec. Okay, we are two of four. Daniela draws a curse luck. Jacqueline draws a mobster. It has aloof, however. All right. So, Jacqueline will... Spend a resource, put it here. Free triggered ability, you, uh, discard those two resources to get two clues. And then her last two actions will be to move to the Clover Club bar, which you can get drinks there. And then at the Clover Club card room, we can gamble. All right, Daniela is going to move, move, try to gamble. She spends two resources. She's going to reveal a token from the Chaos Bag. Well, we might as well use Jacqueline's ability. Why not? Come on. One, two, three. Well, we'll cancel the autofill. We reveal these two. Wait, what happens now? When you reveal a chaos token, you may treat that token as an enemy. Does this work like this? So, okay, first of all, what would happen if I... Well, we're for sure canceling this. If it is a... <laughs> oh, no. If it is a... Does that... So, does... Do both of these count? Is that what, is that, that's what I'm asking? Because if I change this to an Elder Sign, that would do the first ability. This one triggers the even number one. If it is a... I think, yeah, I think they both count. So we're going to cheat, again, because this is Grulu once per round. We're going to say that the skull is the Elder Sign, so she gains two resources. 
and gets two clues. And then the even number says that she gets two clues. I believe that's how that works. Let me know if I'm cheating, but technically I'm already am. <laughs> uh, and that is her last action. However, because we have our clues, we must immediately spend them. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. So we must spend them. So we put the darkened hall into play. We're gonna put it over here. And then it is agenda one, so we discard cards until an end, a criminal is discarded and we put it there. So criminal, 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 criminal. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, that's a criminal. It's an Albanian thug. Gotcha. And it has a loop still. Uh, and then we need four clues at the VIP area. All right, well, that was their turns. Hunters. Clover Club Pit Boss moves here, and that is their turns. So let's go to upkeep. Daniela will draw a toe-to-toe. -to -toe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Jacqueline will draw an unexpected courage. Get a resource. How many cards does she have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We are three of four. Daniela's encounter card is a Swarm of Rats. Jacqueline's encounter card is a Twist of Fate. Uh, she's going to pull, pull a token normally. Minus one. So it is another number, so she takes a damage. We can no longer cheat now. We've exhausted both cheats. And that's it. So, Daniela, let us have you fight the rats. Uh, four to one. We're going to commit this prepared for the worst to go five to one. Minus three. So we committed this, we are five minus one is four, plus one is five. We succeed by one. So we get rid of Swarm of Rats and Curse Love. Second action, move here. Darkened Hall spawns the other back hall doorways. out here and the abandoned thug is aloof uh no yeah no, no point in that uh do we have anything else to play i guess not let's uh gain a resource all right jacqueline's turn she's gonna move Move, and then let's go up here. The art gallery. Okay. Don't want to fail because we lose resources if we fail, but this should be fine. Uh, we are investigating. We'll investigate with the divination. We are five, six, seven. Minus one is six to two, and we will use her ability. Uh, we don't want to draw cards. We're a little bit full on that. All right, three tokens. One, two, three. Uh, we'll choose the plus one. Spend these two charges. Get these two clues. And we get rid of Chris Luck. Hunters, Cloverclip Pit Boss moves to the card room. That guy is not a hunter. And let's go to upkeep. Daniela will draw, stand together. Jacqueline will draw a Guts. We are advancing. So, shuffle the encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck, and we advance directly to agenda 2A. Okay. 
shuffle the things. Actually, no, we're about to shuffle some more stuff, so we can just keep going. Okay, we have Sudden Chaos. Spawn the random enemy from the set aside Hideous Abomination set. That's right. Come on. Okay. So that's these three. We're going to roll a d6. One, two, three, four, five, six. In the Clover Club Lounge? This, yes. Four. So that's a conglomeration of spheres. That's actually bad for the chainsaw, I just realized, but we'll have to make do. Then we shuffle the rest of that set along with Striking Fear encounter sets. So, in this case, Erratic Fear into the encounter deck. Uh, move all investigators and unengaged enemies from La Bella Luna to the Clover Club Lounge. Remove La Bella Luna from the game. And of course, that means that the Abandoned Thug engages Daniela, because now they do not have Aloof anymore. Uh, and then we have Force at the start of the enemy phase, discard each criminal enemy and an Abomination's enemy's location. Discard? Discard. Okay, so we want to kill the Clover Club Pit Boss if you can. Should be fine. Da, da, da. And this will go away. Okay, this is gone. So we have seven turns left, and now we draw on counter cards. That's right, because that was the doom. Daniela draws, raise the stakes. You must choose one. Remember that you have cheated. We can't choose that because that wouldn't change the game state since we've already done that. Lose five resources. Put it into play in your third area. Each criminal enemy at your location loses aloof. It is if it is act two or three, each criminal enemy engaged with you gets plus one fight and plus one evade. Uh, we will lose five resources. We have a lot of money. Jacqueline will draw something that drinks and as surge, no one took a drink. Hunted down. If there are no unengaged criminal enemies in play, it, uh, there are. Each of them moves one location towards you. Each criminal enemy that engages you as a result of this effect makes an immediate attack. Fantastic. So we'll move this guy that way, move this guy this way, and engages her. And then nothing engaged Jacqueline, so she's done. And that's great because that means that the mobster is going to die. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Hunted Down. Okay. Um, let's have Jacqueline go first. We need to find the VIP area, I think. Yeah, so we're gonna move over here. Check this place out. Ah, uh, it's the back alley. Um, well, I guess we can get the clues from here then. Uh, we'll play a clairvoyance as our last action. No, there's no need to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So three and one. Cause we can only get two more clues in the entire game cause we will, we'll lose the victory. So we'll actually instead play Winds of Power to put two charges on the divination, which is just two clues. All right, that is her turn. One, two, three, four, three. Yeah, we're good. Daniela, though, has some fighting to do. Yeah, so she's gonna attack the... Do we have a vicious blow? We do not. Uh, she's gonna attack Obanian's thug with a chainsaw. That puts us at seven to four. As a zero, she will succeed killing the Vanian's thug. Let me just quickly remember um, High Roller. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so far, only Daniela has cheated. So that's good. That's very good. All right, we're gonna chainsaw the Clover Club Pit Boss. We are seven to three. Minus four, we succeed. Wow, just barely though. Three damage. 
from the chainsaw. Is there something we want to play? I guess we could gain a resource. Uh, yeah, let's gain a resource. Uh, this guy will attack. We'll put a damage on the guard dog and ourselves. Guard dog will do the damage back, killing it. Very nice. Then we gain a resource. All right. Enemy phase, start of the enemy phase, humanoids die. Then this guy hunts. No engaged enemies. Let's go to upkeep. Daniela will draw a medical student. Pretty good. Wait, oh, we, we don't have charisma. <laughs> yeah, resource. Jacqueline will draw another divination, and we'll get a resource. If you're wondering why I'm trying to go so quickly, is because of a certain guy who's going to show up that I really want to get. One out of seven. Daniela will draw... Oh, frick. Okay, that's a problem. We can kill it. And, oh, that's a melee card. Oh, my God. Oh, this is a problem. All right. We drew another conglomeration of spheres. Jacqueline will draw. Hunt it down. There are none, so this gains surge. No criminal enemies. Need for knowledge. If you have no clues, it gains surge. Otherwise, test intellect X, where X is the number of clues you have. She does. For each point you fail by, you must either take a horror or place one of your clues in the kitchen. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, this is a, <laughs> the weird. That's a way to move the clues around. Uh, but we don't need to do that. Uh, so let us test three to two. Three to two. Let's commit this unexpected courage, I guess. No, we should. We will need that. We will absolutely need that. So let's commit this... Uh, uh, Clairvoyance. Four to two. Minus one. We succeed. Good. All right, Jacqueline's going to go first. She's going to move, move back to our hallway has two clues. She does not gain cards or resources during the upkeep phase. She will investigate with divination. She is five, six, seven to three. We will use her ability. Do you want to name a card? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Come on. Uh, I don't want to draw a card. We'll choose the Elder Sign to resolve. Or we'll cancel the minus two and the zero, I mean. Okay, so... Only investigators in the VIP here. So we will not spend them until next round. All right, Daniela. Sure. Chainsaw it up. Seven to one. Cultists, we succeed by three. Sorry, we succeed just in general. So we get three resources. That's pretty good. We deal three damage. And then Chainsaw is a melee card, so this gets discarded. We have two actions left. Uh, we will fight. Five to one. Minus one, we'll deal an additional, another damage. And a tablet is a minus three, we do not fail. So that's two more damage. Okay, enemy phase. Hunters move, this guy moves here. They both attack. We'll have this guy attack first. So this guy deals a damage and a horror. We will put that on ourselves. Damage, horror, that will deal damage back using Daniela's ability, killing it. This guy attacks. We will deal a damage to the guard dog and horror to ourselves. The guard dog deals a damage back. Daniela deals a damage back for a total of two damage. All right, upkeep. Daniela will draw a 45. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And a resource.
Jacqueline will draw another Delve. Okay, we have both of our Delves now. So in case we can't get Peter Clover, we could just bail and try to do Delve too deep. All right, two out of seven. Daniela will draw a Swarm of Rats. Fine. Jacqueline will draw Violent Commands. Uh, she's going to test three willpower at the end of her turn each time. If she fails, she takes a Horror. Um, as an action, deal two damage to an investigator location discard it. Honestly, I don't think we'll ever get rid of that. Sorry, I forgot to spend the two charges on Divination. Okay. We are going to spend our four clues and advance the act. So, if the players have completed extracurricular activity, the VIP rooms are filled with the mangled and bloodied bodies of unfortunate patrons. There doesn't appear to be any trace of Dr. Morgan. You hear a screaming and gunfire from the main area of the club. Put the set-aside Peter Clover into play in the Clover Club bar. Peter Clover. Oh, frick. Search the encounter deck or out of play for an abomination enemy and spawn it in the Clover Club bar. Advance to Act 3A, fold. Okay, I guess we're going to put a Servant of the Lurker there. Oh, not Servant of the Lurker, whatever the thing is. Oh, it is a Servant of the Lurker. Okay. Spawn in the Clover Club bar. Ugh. Okay, I, I, Daniela needs some more damage. At least it'll come to us. She's here, by the way. Oh, frick. Sorry. She shouldn't have gained that resource or drawn that card. That's right. She's at the VIP area. Okay, I think we are poised to do this. I've, I have never done this. No, I've done this once. It involved Luke Robinson teleporting there, though. <laughs> we don't have that. So hopefully we can do it. Uh, advance to Act 3A, fold. That's all in. Here's fold. All right, we haven't run this before. Free drinks for whoever could get me the hell out of here, a man exclaims from the bar. While Peter Clover is not controlled by a player, he gains as an action parlay. Test three willpower to convince Peter to follow you. If you succeed, place one clue from the token bank on him. If there are one per player clues on Peter Clover, then take control of him. Objective, if each undefeated investigator is resigned, we advance. Peter Clover says, where are you? Come on. Forced, at the start of the enemy phase, if no investigator controls Peter Clover, deal one damage to him. As a free triggered ability, exhaust him to automatically evade a criminal enemy at your location. So we need to get him, we need to get to him in these next three turns. And then we'll be able to move, move, and then, okay. So we'll have the rest of the agenda to do this, basically. Okay. Okay, let's start with Daniela. She's going to... Yeah. Yes. She is going to toe-to-toe -to -toe the conglomeration of spheres. So, it is going to attack her. She will deal a damage and a horror to the guard dog. That deals a damage back. She will use her ability to deal a damage. Then the fight is automatically successful. It deals plus one damage, dealing two damage, killing it. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fight the rats. Five to one. Minus one. Rats are dead. Last action. Play a machete. Yeah, for three. Okay, Jacqueline. You're going to play a shriveling. Oh, sorry. First you move out. Then you're going to play a shriveling for three. And it's four charges. Okay, I think we can do this. Yeah. Ooh, this is going to be tight. She really can't afford to take that hit, though, I think. It will save us a lot of actions, but I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah, so she will play an emergency cash. Okay, hunters. Uh, start of the enemy phase, deals the damage to him. 
and upkeep. Daniela will draw a taunt, not useful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Getting a resource. Jacqueline will draw the other Dell. That's right. I knew that that was coming. Three out of seven. Daniela will draw, raise the stakes. She will lose five resources. That's totally fine. I guess we... No, whatever. Jocelyn will draw a curse lock. Oh, sorry. She should have tested the three willpower. She's six to three. She hadn't used her ability that round yet either, so she will just do this with her ability. One, two, three. She'll choose the... She was at six... Oh, she'll choose this, uh, the cultist then. To get another three resources. Why not? Okay, now she's cursed luck, though. All right, Daniela, move to the Servant of the Lurker. Yeah. Machete. Five, six to four. We're going to commit this taunt to go seven to four. Yeah. Ooh, frick. Okay. All right. Uh, does not have retaliate, so that's good. All right, we need one hit from this machete right now. So we are six to four. We will commit her mechanics wrench. Ugh. Uh, nine to four. Zero. Okay. We deal two damage. Then we will play toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It attacks us, dealing two damage and two horror. So we have four damage and four horror on us. And then uh, we will deal a damage back. The fight deals two damage. Three damage total. Five damage. Plus the two was before. It's dead. Okay. Jacqueline. Move. Move. Parlay. You are five to three. Uh, commit the guts. Use your ability. Uh, support is at seven to three. Uh, we will name one. We want to. We want to succeed by one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, we, yeah, seven. Cause we have curse spot. I forgot. Yeah, seven to three. We want to succeed by one. One, two, three. Oh, wow. That actually works perfectly. So we cancel the auto fail. That's a minus three. We succeed by one. So we draw a card. We draw a card off of guts. We succeed by one. So we play curse luck or remove curse luck. Uh, we will play winds of power because we just drew it during our turn to put two charges on shriveling. Might be, not, might be necessary. And then one clue on Peter Clover. Okay. So next turn, we do that. Move, move. Next turn, move, resign. I think we got this. Okay. Violent commands. We are six to three. Tablet, that is a minus three. We do not fail. Okay. Upkeep. Daniela will draw the mob goons. That's a little worrying, but hopefully we should be able to kill it. Jacqueline draws prescient. Gains a resource. Ooh, I'm like, I'm tense. <laughs> this is the closest I've ever gotten. Daniela draws. Caught cheating. Okay. So, only Daniela's cheated, so she loses two resources and takes the damage. That is totally A-OK, -okay, I think. Then that, that has Surge into stuffing the drinks. No one has drink, taken a drink. Curse luck. Fine. Jacqueline will draw idle hands. Put into play in your threat area. As a reaction, if Idle Hands is in your threat area, during your turn, take two damage and discard it to take an additional action this turn. Force at the end of your turn, take a horror. Well, I'm actually glad that I got that, I think. Uh, start the enemy phase, this guy should have gotten the damage as well. Okay. So now, we just need to, we just need to pass this. That's just what we need to do. 
That is just what we need to do. So we are six to three. Commit this Arcane Initiate. Uh, and no, just commit everything. Arcane Initiate. Yeah, we need to be up seven to basically never fail. Yeah. So we are right now six to three. So six, seven, eight, nine to three. 11 to 3. We'll use our ability. Revealing 3 tokens. One, two, three. We will choose the 0. We'll put another clue on it. Then we take control of him. Oh my god. The mob goods is a criminal. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, that's amazing. The mob goons were in La Bella Luna this whole time. Maybe, the, maybe, the, maybe they are actually in the art. No, they're not. Oh, that'd be so funny. Anyway. That was our first action. Second action, move here. <laughs> Free trigger ability on Peter Clover. Exhaust him. Automatically evade a criminal enemy at your location. Yes. Yes. Third action, move here. We're going to use this. Uh, discard this, take two damage. To get a fourth action to move here. Daniela will... Move, move, resign. I don't think she currently controls this, so this stays here. I think. It also has Daniela Ray's only, so it won't even hunt. Okay. Curse Luck is dead. Idle Hands is gone. Oh, she needs to test Willpower. She is 6-3. to three. Auto fail. She takes a horror. Totally fine. Okay, so Daniela is gone. So all of this stuff goes away. This guy will ready. This guy will ready. It is not uh he is controlled, so he's good. Okay. Upkeep for Jacqueline. Dark future. Frick. Gaining resource. Okay. We were five of seven. Jacqueline's card is a swarm of rats. Fuck. Okay, let's shrivel the rats. We are five, six, six to one. We are not gonna use her ability because we can't cancel those things. Uh, skull, so she takes a horror. We'll, we'll put on Peter Clover. <laughs> rats are dead. Second action, we're going to pay one to play Delve. Draw an encounter card. Idle hands. Fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third action. The idle hands actually, I think, just won us the game with that. This is our third action. Delve again. Another card. Twist of Fate. Okay, so... She will use her ability on this. We really, really, really do not want to take a damage. Yeah, she can reveal a bajillion symbols and totally be fine. Oh. Right. <laughs> Frick! So she cancels one of them, but it's any other number, so she takes a damage. She's at four damage. Okay, so we can no longer idle hands. Unless we have anything. No, this is our, well, our action's done. But this is in the victory split, at least. Okay. Well, at the end of her turn, she takes a horror. At the end of her turn, she tests violent commands. Six to three. Oh, this is also, whatever. I'll, I'll do the violent commands first. Because they're both at the end of your turn. And they are both forced. So you can choose which one. Two, she succeeds. Okay, now we do this. I've already used her ability this round. Five five tokens then. 
24. Okay. She succeeded in that. This is gone. Okay. Hunters. Then yellow race only, so this guy does not hunt. And let's go to upkeep. Jacqueline will draw an unexpected courage, gaining a resource. Okay, it's all down to this. There is no ancient evil, so I don't think we can actually put doom on this. Jacqueline draws, need for knowledge. She has no clues, it can't search. Arousing suspicion, place a doom on each criminal enemy at your location. If no doom is placed with this effect, lose two resources. Totally fine. Holy shit. Then we resign. Oh my god, we did it. I believe we did that as perfectly as possible. All right. Oh, sorry, I forgot. We go here. Let me know if I made a mistake. Uh, you make your way toward the, the rain slick streets of Arkham, escaping the club. If an investigator resigned with Peter Clover under their control, we did. We have R3. R3. Resolution 3. Although you were unable to find Dr. Morgan in the club, the man you rescued is grateful for your help. He introduces himself as Peter Clover, the owner of this establishment you just left. Despite the situation, he maintains an air of quiet professionalism. As you make your way towards the street, a well-polished Chrysler B70 rolls up to you, and a gorgeous woman with long brown hair and narrow eyes exits. She is flanked by dangerous-looking men who slip their hands under their suit jackets when they see you. Peter, she says with a sigh of relief. Good to see you're okay. I heard there was trouble. She turns and glares at you with deadly eyes. Who are they? Mr. Clover dusts off his vest and un unworried. Naomi, my dear, these are friends of mine. They, he clears his throat. They escorted me off the premises, he explains after a short pause. They have earned our gratitude. The woman crosses her arms and take a moment to size you up before giving you a smirk. Very well then. I must thank you for taking care of Peter. Run along now. We'll handle things from here. She nods to the goons flanking her, and they walk past you towards the club's rear entrance, pulling firearms out of out from underneath their coats. You're not sure what handling things, things means, but you're pretty sure you don't want to be here when the gunfire starts. You thank Naomi and Peter, and head off. In your campaign log, record that Naomi has the investigators back. In your campaign log, record that Dr. Francis Morgan was kidnapped. If any player cheated, yep, Add one Elder Thing Chaos Token to the Chaos Bag for the remainder of the campaign. Each investigator earns experience equal to the Victory X value of each card in the Victory Display, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh, no. 5, 6. Yeah, the Delves. Proceed to Interlude 1, Armitage's Fate. Before we do upgrades, let's talk Interlude 1, Armitage's Fate. Uh, we were not unconscious for several hours, so we go to Fate 2, and we get Dr. Har Henry Armitage. Uh, who should I give that to? <laughs> uh, probably Jacqueline? No. Let's, let's give it to Daniela. Sure, let's give, uh, where is she? Where is he? There he is. We'll give Dr. Henry Armitage to Daniela. All right. And let's talk about upgrades. So... Daniela, we had 6 XP to spend, yes? Yes. Daniela spent 4 on another chainsaw and 2 on Peter Sylvester. He's going to be so good. She's going to replace uh, four, uh, the, uh, the, 40, the last 44 automatic and 1 medical student for that. Jacqueline will spend her 6 XP to upgrade both divinations. All right, well, that was that scenario. We managed to do, well, the best we could. <laughs> it, like, literally. Um, so I'm excited about that. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. It really helps out the channel. Until next time, this has been Superfang99, signing off.